Good morning. I got this PR package from ZKL Cosmetics and in the package got um, a glitter eyeshadow palette, a face palette, so it's like blush and bronzer and powder all in one. I got foundation. I actually got a contact lens kit, but unfortunately I tried to wear it and it was sort of... If you're interested in knowing about ZKL and the feel about the products, keep watching. Okay, so now I'm back and we've done brow, so we're going to now get into this, you know, ZKL products. The first thing I'm going to pick up is the eyeshadow um, or the face palette. This is what the face palette looks like. It's basically like, um, you know. I think this palette. <laughs> so it's basically like a one size fits all kind of thing. It has literally everything that you need. I guess this is what you need if you're like a freelancing, like you're starting up your freelancing like makeup artist kit. This would definitely come in handy for you. So we are going to get into it and see like if this is actually like a good bang for the buck. First to start with is priming my eyelid. This primer I think is from it's from Tara. It's just a you know white base. So the white base helps to make your eyeshadows a bit more vivid. You know, basically if you place any color at all over white it becomes a bit more vivid so that's what i'm doing i'm applying it on with my hands and then blending out see how i'm blending it slowly to get to my lid you can save time by using a beauty blender to blend this to be honest i most likely would do that so now i'm going to you know start with this orange shade because it's looking kind of interesting to me so so dip my brush into the orange and So, right now, I'm blending that orange into my crease, you know, basically that's everywhere from where your eyeball meets that bone in your eye. So I'm blending that into my crease to begin like the first step to a transition. And definitely what I can say is, you see how I'm going around in that, how I'm doing this, I'm literally, you can see that right now literally doing that <sighs> let's go into the eyes and see what we get in terms of pigment i will say that you know obviously because it's a more affordable brand it might not be able to give you all the things that you would need you know in terms of like place pigmentation and you know but it blends out really nice it blends out seamlessly like it, it blends out really easily like color payout so I'm bringing that red into my crease again this purple shades here I've been on my radar so so I'm literally like scratching to get out the pigment for the color and it is so difficult you guys definitely cannot see it but if I place a brush over the shadow it would literally fall apart like it would strip off the color that I've spent so much time and energy and dedication in placing. So all in all the eye look is completed and so far I just made a little research and I found out that the Zikel palette retails for 4,000 Naira. I think it's currently on sale right now on the Jumia website. My impression in terms of pigmentation, I mean it's just okay. It's not like revolutionary or fantastic or anything that I haven't seen before in like uh, you know a more affordable brand i guess it could be a bit more pigmented i mean the highlighters could be a bit more pigmented this is a swatch sort of the highlighter this is what they look like i mean they barely even show you up you can barely even pick it up on the camera you know barely but that's that's a swatch right there of the highlighter that's what it looks like and i said this is a swatch of the eyeshadows and they actually swatch quite beautifully but on the eyes when you place them it when you try to blend it just it's just really dusty it's really hard to pick up the product i mean i literally would probably have to scratch it to get the product out but it is for four thousand dollars i would advise the zikel palette to like newbies beginners you're just you know you're a freelance makeup artist looking to start your kit and you don't really have a lot of money you don't really have a lot of space in your box you want to pack lights it's probably a really good alternative for you to get like this really affordable like brands and you know get a really affordable face and everything is just like in one kit enough with that 
cork we're going to go on to pop lashes onto this i think i'm just going to use the lashes i had on from yesterday because i mean why not lashes are right here they are mink lashes from beauty line by pd already used them so i'm just going to fix them back on again so i'm going to go off camera to fix the lashes and i will be right back this is what we're looking like right now yeah it's not looking too bad okay so now start with now is a silicone based primer and this is it right here it is called the zikel stay matte zikel cosmetics photo fix mattifier face primer and wrinkle filler like this primer is promising us so many things I opened it and i dropped a little bit at the back of my hand and it's more like a gel that's what it is it's more like a gel so i'm going to read the instruction at the back of it it says look beautiful and confident it says base lissant lissant and mattify smooth and mattify that's really all the instruction that he gave so i'm going to take a bit of that jelly like silicone like primer i'm not sure if it was actually supposed to be like silicone but right now it's giving me like more of a gel finish if yours is different from this please let me know in the comments section so i'm applying that to like the areas that are most shiny okay, that's, um, my cheeks my nose my chin if you see like as you're looking at my face you obviously see that nothing is being mattified but I mean, let's work with it. And a bit to my forehead. A bit to my forehead. Okay, so the primer is applied all over my face. I just have like this excess. I'm going to rub this excess at the back of my hand so you see like basically the effect of the primer. And it's not really staying, it's not really mattifying, it's just more like a really it gives you more like a really smooth finish. Like it just I don't know, it feels like a silicone on the skin but it wasn't silicone i really don't know it's more of a gel you know but it dries like a silicone finish so that's what it looks like so you see that a bit of my hand is shiny and then this one is a bit more matte so that's the effect the primer gives to you and it's a zikel high definition foundation spf i'm not really sure my shade is in this one actually i need to go back in to find it but i think the last time i tried it out this happened to be my shade i just looked at it from the bottle it's a glass bottle right yeah, it's a glass bottle and um, you know it's it's says it has SPF and it's 24 7 the thing about SPF foundation is they usually tend to run foundations or products makeup products generally that have SPF is they usually tend to have a little bit of flashback or ashiness to it so we are going to put this to the test so I'm going to do like one whole pump of the foundation Okay, that was more than one pump. What the heck? Look, I'm applying first starting by applying the foundation to like the center of my face. I always like to go in first with foundation the center of my face and boom. Oh my god. Is it looking super orange? In person, it's not like. In person, it's not horrible. But then in real life, in, in camera, it's like. <laughs> setting in nicely. It's supposed to dry to a matte finish, so I'm waiting on it to dry down to be very matte. I know foundations like this, especially more like affordable brand foundations, tend to always give like that nice, that matte coverage. It's not necessarily what I like because I feel like matte foundations break down much easier than a creamy foundation would because a creamy foundation is flexible on your skin as your skin wrinkles as your skin moves and forms lines a creamy foundation is going to move with your face but then a matte foundation is just going to start to crack in the areas where creasing of course <coughs> so i guess it's well blended now another shade of the zika foundation and this one is the shade itself but there's a name on the on the pack which is bronze beauty I'm 
is it the, the translucent powder in the face kit and that's what I'm going to use to set my under eye so this is white powder here okay so I roll my beauty blender in that and I'm just going to press it under my eyes and it is really like sucking up the moisture like it is really absorbing all that shine it's dark you should have the contour and this is what we're going to be using not the mirror because we're using this product lightly dusting it onto my cheekbones i am actually you can see that i'm not applying any pressure just like that just to map up the contour because it's still wet and it's still cream if this powder sets completely sets my cream products it will be really hard to blend out so be very careful the powder palette i'm going to take this powder here i'm going to use it to merge my contour and my eyes it is because it's so thick it's settling under my eyes i have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and i'm so particular about how my under eye looks so yeah, it's, it's definitely increasing. So I'm just going to take a bit more of that powder. Please. So I'm going to use this orange wash with my beauty blender because I really don't care. I'm just going to use the same thing over and over again. Can't really be stressing for brushes right now. And it works, so why not? Oh, look on my cheeks. Look on my cheeks. Blush is like my favorite makeup like, step. I love blush. I just like how it warms up my skin. Mm -hmm. Palette, look at it. Look at it right here. Nubai Beauty Powder Brush. I love this brush. Love you so much. I forgot the Zikel Lara palette. Bam! That's what I see. That's what I see. So we have like beauty pieces right here. Um, let's match it. I mean, why not? I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna do a rainbow of all this like purples. <gasps> Look, glitter. Literally, use a brush to flick everything away. That's how much it holds. So my brush isn't really picking it up, so I have to use my finger. I really wanted to get like a precise, clean, quite increased look. Such a hassle. My brush isn't picking it up. Yeah, we're still definitely going to go back in with the eyeliner to correct all that, but so far so good. So, as I was saying, I, I actually like how it looks, like looking at me, when you see the colleges face in, but personally when the person looks down or away from, you know, all of that, away from you staring at yourself, I feel like when you just place glitter with like, without putting a boundary, or when you do a color without putting a boundary, it just makes it look like it's, 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 it's emerging from nowhere. So I like to wrap my color. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cheating, as I said. I'm taking this MUD shadow and I'm taking that black shade right there with this thin angle brush. And I'm just, you know, using that to cut a crease. how to do it quick and easy for quad crease so time come later so put a bit more black in there run that bubble Look a bit of that same black again underneath my eyes. I'm sorry, I'm cheating, guys. It's a girl palette didn't come with the black, and I don't have any eyeshadow from them that has the black, so hence the cheatery. The ch cheatery. The cheatery.
spray I'm going to use the Scandinavia Bright Out Setting Spray. And putting out all the good stops for this guy. 